Hi, this is Kevin with KGM Jam, owner of Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com, join for free today, and start advertising for free. Okay, here we are in the tavern in the guild. Uh, trash Band asked, we didn't fill many phrases, bro. Where was everyone? Good question. Let's see what's going on in the brawl. Did I get in? I hope I didn't forget to jump into it. No, this, yeah, these are. this is a new battle. So let me get in right now. We got 39 hours left. Yeah, I, I you know, it is what it is. Uh, I don't know if people forget or they just don't want to play, but they're missing out. I mean, it's free SPS. It's free merits. So, um, I, and I try to, you know, I try to, that's why I show it every day. The first thing in the video is if you're watching, get in on it. Enter fray. Where am I at here now? I'm going to do. I don't want to do that one. Only gold foil cards may be used. Okay, I don't have that. My my splinter, my Taro Cabot account is not gold. And that's rebellion only, so that's out. So I'm going to go into number nine here. Gold. Uh, let me put them in there. I try to do this early, otherwise I'll forget. And I think that's what happens. A lot of people just forget. KGM Jam, Tyrell Cabot. And I'm going to talk to everybody. I might just go ahead and assign people. And that way, if they forgot, they still got a chance to get in. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure that out. Um, it seems to be moving good today. If you saw my video yesterday, it was so slow moving. It was unbelievably slow. Uh, let's go look at the numbers here. This is for the 7th today. 2962 for gold foil, 454 for regular foil. 179 in my rental account. That's buy, sell, rent. 500 for land. 394 for SPS. That's a that's an all-time high, but guys, looking good for a total value of 44.89. I did my $10 DCA today. I walk away today with 13.69 in profit. It's up $68. Look how volatile it's been over the last two weeks. Actually, the last the whole month it's just been up and down, up and down, up and down. That's that's a good healthy platform or and and market when the crypto and all that starts pumping like that um, so i'm very happy this is at the end of a three-year bull run or a bear market three years of a bear market and i'm still up like that so i can only imagine what this number is going to look like if if and when i participate in my next bull market when i got in that anybody who lived through that last bull market it was life-changing and ask any of the ogs it, it really was for most of them uh, so I'm hoping to participate in that again. Let's go to the Splinterland YouTubers, the buzz. These are all the people I know that make videos. Please like, subscribe, follow, comment the best you can. I know time is, is important, but just do the best you can. It really helps out everybody and encourages them to make more videos. And it also helps the algorithm on YouTube to get uh, Splinterlands out there in front of more people because... Remember, all these videos everybody makes get seen by other Splinterlands people. But what about the people who haven't joined? What if each one just gets one new person a day looking at the game? And imagine one new person is Jeff Opens Cards. Think what that can do for the platform. And speaking of Jeff Open Cards, um, the People's Guild, I'm halfway through the episode. They did, I think it was last night, but it was it was there this morning when I woke up. They did an interview with Jeff Open Cards, which he's another, uh, he, basically he just opens tons of packs. That's his main thing. And what an interesting story. Uh, go watch it. It, it, it. He's He's got his own store. He's into Pokemon. Uh, eBay, all that stuff, and he's got a 10,000 square foot store, and it makes me want to go and open up my store to you and get eBay started back up, because I got it, it's in another town though, it's about three hours away, so I've closed the eBay store down, but I've got tons of sports cards, I got a little bit of Pokemon, a little bit of Magic, mostly Yu-Gi-Oh, because I never was in a Pokemon, and, um, and, and so I'm going to listen to the other half when I get to work today, and, and finish that off, um, but 
if you go down here, there's all the links for all these guys. If you don't see anybody on here that should be, send me send me the info. I'll one I'll go subscribe to him because for some reason every now and then I'll get a new Splinterlands person on my algorithm that said why I don't know. I don't know because ninety percent of all my videos I watch are it's either religious or Splinterlands. So it's a it's pretty easy for them to line up stuff to get to me. So if I'm not getting it, that's a good question to figure out is why is their uh, content not coming in front of me? But I'll add it to the list. Uh, we've got a Buns, Bags, and Caps guy over on Twitch. we got to get over to him and help out. I'm having a hard time. I just don't go to Twitch, and i got to get myself doing so. Here's the Buzz Group live streamers. Every Saturday morning, Bronze Dragon, 11.30 a.m. He's been a staple now for three or four months doing that, maybe longer. After Sound, every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, usually between 9 and 11, depending when he can do it. And he actually streams even more than that. But that's that's a good thing to go by. You should, everybody knows After Sound. Splinter Zone, every Friday night. i got to get a hold of these guys and find out exactly what time. Peace Silence makes a ton of streams. Uh, I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to what time he does it but if i can get that information from him i'll fill that in for you shq everybody knows them they've been they're ogs they've been here forever they don't make as many as they used to they kind of uh you know just got busy with life you know steve r82 uh i hope you're feeling better buddy but the last one you make you were sick and but he makes probably one a week on average the people's guild is making several a week I, I they just made two in a row they had a gameplay the night before which i watched the entire thing and listened to it while i was working and man do those guys got some powerful decks and boba fett the same thing they stream i've actually got one i'm behind on one of their things i got to catch up on that and i'll get done so there's the the uh the buzz now the drawing i have not heard from uh chad henneberry it's not my job to go hunt for you. If you can't contact me, if you're not watching my content, I say this every day so that you got a chance. That's seven days I'm giving you to contact me. You are the winner. I will send it to you. If you don't want it, if you just, you know, you're being nice and you're like, well, I don't need it, that's fine too. Let me know and I'll do the drawing on Saturday. But as of right now, if I don't hear from you by t Saturday morning before I go live, or not live, record, I'm going to draw somebody new, okay? And I apologize, Martino Martelli, same thing. I did not hear from you guys. Uh, you might have sent me the information already. I, I don't have it. You, But that, that means you haven't listened to me in seven days. So I, I don't. I, I'm just going to give to somebody who does, okay? Um, that's for that. So let's go to the comments. And here we go, Bronze Dragon. Just to be clear, at our guild level, each person guild... Oh, hold on, that's Bronze. That's the um, Golem Overlord. That's another game that he's my uh, guild master. Okay, Trash Panda. Hey, man, I'm stuck in Amarillo trying to get this Freight Shaker fixed. I really enjoy the Battle Royale that People's Guild does. That was the one, I think it was Tuesday night. It's a fun stream. The Guild on my main account just went into Tier 4, and we're earning about 100 SPS per brawl. If you are not in a Guild, get in one or start your own. It's worth it. Absolutely worth it, which ain't bad. Keep up the good work. And then he wrote, I think if you hit your laptop with a hammer, it should start behaving. Yeah, we, we got something in the Marine Corps we call the drop test. I was a radio operator. And, yeah, I seriously thought about taking my cheap $67 Chromebook. But it wasn't its fault. It was the Internet. The, the trucks were out driving around in the neighborhood. There was something that degraded the entire system. And my cell phone, which I switched over to, was also degraded. So I th they might share the same tower. I don't know. But it seems to be working and recording very good today. So let's hope and cross our fingers that it does good. Okay, so here's my three accounts. I've got my gold account, my regular full account, and my buy, sell, and rent account. This can have regular foils, but if I get gold, this is where it goes. If I don't need it in here, I put it in here. And if I don't need it there, I'm going to send it over to here. I call it the waterfall effect. Okay, now we've done the bra, so let's go do the land real quick. Yeah, if, if you were watching the video yesterday, it took, I couldn't even finish land. It took, it would just spin. Spin, spin, and spin, and spin, and it, you know, like it's doing now. Okay, there we go. Let's get to production. I've got the five properties. I'm in good shape. 
Uh, right now, all you can do is claim on land, but I got five properties here. And the first one, all I do is gather grain and store it. Grain is the gatekeeper. You're going to have to have it or you're going to have to buy it. There's no way around it. And so the strategy I'm having is have this one that does nothing but make grain. And then my second one makes grain for itself and for all the other properties. That's where we're at with that. So, and no totem piece. I, I still have yet to get a totem piece. So here's the second account right here. This has got the best cards on it. And it produces enough grain for itself and the other three properties. And so I don't need to stack any grain at all on this property at all. Now, I, I lucked out. I, I got, it was on accident. But even though I'm going to lose these two accounts when 2.0 kicks in, I do have two properties that will allow me to build farms on them in order to take care of my other properties. So I got to go back here. I got to transfer that real quick. And I'll show you how I do that. And I keep my S I keep my DC at zero because I kept forgetting to go to credits or go like here. I bought five dollars worth of damn grain the other day and I didn't need to uh, grain transfer. So let's go. So what I do is I transfer my DEC to my buy, sell, and rent account, and because I don't do anything on that, so it, it helps protect me from making mistakes like that. So let's transfer this over to the one that needs it the most. It will be 46 Thalus, where I have two properties on that. And that's all you do. And that's land's open 1% right now. You got 2.0 is going to have over 60 buildings, 50 to 60 buildings. We can only make three right now research, SPS, and grain. So let's go back over here and claim those. Now, currently, my totem part is less than one percent and that's why I'm, I'm never getting any it's it's I think it's less than half a percent so this is research and really all you can do right now is stack it and we really don't know what it's going to be we know we need it we just don't know what exactly for like how much stuff like that so um, I decided to go ahead and do one property with research just to get a head start maybe and I've got 15,000 almost 16,000 research points all right, let's go here to the SPS now. SPS is the main token in the game, and it's almost up to three cents, which it was at one cent, so it's almost three X here in the last couple weeks. Let me pay grain for that. So basically, that's the long game is SPS for me. I don't spend it. I don't use it for anything but to collect it. Okay, and then let's go to the last property here. And here we go right here. And that one got, let me see, 3.467. So harvest. Uh, a lot of people predicting it might be not until the next halving, but SPS will probably get up to a dollar. And that's when I'll probably start thinking about doing something with it. But until then, it's just uh, it's just sitting there. I do not spend SPS. Okay, so there's the land. That's really all you can do with it right now. So let's go over to the battle page. See if I got a, I got a splinter mate taking care of the botting. It's a dollar a month, so it's very easy to budget. It looks like I do have a battle, so let's go do one. I can jump in anytime I want, and then it will take over if I'm not around. And let's see what we got here. 21 mana. Equal opportunity. All monsters have the fury ability. Wow. I think I'm going to go. Well, it's low mana, so I'm going to just go with the magic. Which really. Let me try the death splinter. See what's going on here, but. I want to use... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going back to the... Okay, I'm running out of time here. Now, on uh, the People's Guild, they said people who take as long as I do are using... Um, what do you call it? 
game helpers, bots, or whatever, but obviously I'm not, as you can tell. Okay, let's do this guy. And then I got, let me see if I got any zeros. I got two. And then I got one. And I like to slow it down. Okay, let's do that. So we're going to put, let's go, and then let's go Goblin Psychon in the back. And then these guys will just get all the damage. Let's see how that works out. And let's see, I've got, see now, now here we go. Here's the new rules. Two weeks ago, I couldn't do this. My maxed out summoners were useless because I was limited to my league, which was usually bronze or silver because I put all my cards on the, uh, on the land. But look at this. I am now eighth level fighting against a first level. Now, I'm not, I'm not happy about that. Yeah, I feel like a bully, but what I'm just saying is I can bring in all my maxed out cards if they are maxed out now, where before... In three years that I've been on Splinterlands, I never used my maxed out cards because I was never going to get the champion anytime soon. So I like the fact that I can now use them in every battle if I have them. Now, this should be fixed. In Dwayne Cunningham made a video this morning about this problem. It seems like this is happening, but what's happening is it's adjusting. So eventually, he won't see guys like me anymore. He should be seeing guys like him or girls. I don't know who Narag the X is. But, yeah, this is a little bit unfair. But I did lose to a second-level summoner the other day. So it, it doesn't mean I'm guaranteed to win. I should, okay? But it's not guaranteed. So let's see how this goes. And he's actually got a really good card right there. Damn. But he's limited by his first level, you know, but he's got rage. So I, I could lose this game. I really could. Especially when he shoots like that. He's doing seven. Yeah, I'm going to lose this, guys. I am going to lose this battle. Unbelievable. I lost to a first-level summoner. I got to buy that card. <laughs> Whatever card that is, I got to get it. Holy shit. Okay. There's the battle. Let's go see what I did. So, anyway, people complaining about, you know, first-level... Uh, you just just saw what happened there. It doesn't mean you're going to win just because you're maxed out. But I am glad that I can use my maxed out cards, where I, I, I was, you know, I had resigned to the fact I'd never be able to use them until I had gotten up in the champion, which was going to be years and years and years. Okay, let's go to um, let's go do my DCA. So what I'm doing now is if I get enough potions, I will buy Chaos Legion or a uh, Rebellion pack. And I do. I got enough to cover the pack. So let's go back to the market. And buy that Rebellion pack. And it's actually, ooh, it's gone up in price. I'll go ahead and get one. If it gets much up higher, I'm going to skip that till it goes down. I was buying them for three seventy-five, dollars but that's a big chunk of my DCA to buy. Okay, so I got the one pack. We'll open that here in a second. And then I'm going to buy a Nightmare pack because uh, Gathering the Magic pointed out that every 13 packs is another SPS staked. So, okay, let's go to credits. Let's go back to here. And let's buy the nightmare pack. So I'm buying one nightmare pack a day. But, of course, we can't open them. But it's, it's helping with my staked SPS because... Um, like I said before, that's my long game. Everything else I pretty much spend. I spend DC, I spend uh, open packs, I buy and sell cards, all that stuff. Okay, so I got $4 left. 
So what do I need? I want to buy, I want to buy some uh, alpha cards. I'm going to buy dollars worth of alpha cards. So let's go to card sales. And let's go to alpha. Let's go to price. Let's take it off legendary. And this is the cheapest guy right now. So I'm going to buy two of them. And 51 cents. And no, I'm just going to buy one. I'm just going to buy one. But that's, that's, I'm going to buy one alpha card a day at least. Now remember, unlike Yu-Gi-Oh and Pac-Man or uh, uh, Gathering the Match, the the Alpha cards will always be useful because you can use them in the game still. It's just not, but it's a collectible also. That's why I'm always going to buy at least one. And then what I do is I combine them, which should make everybody happy because that means there's one less, makes them even more valuable and more rare every time you burn these cards. And imagine in another five years what these cards might be worth. Okay, so I've got $3.70 left. I'm going to go buy some summoners. It would help if I was in the market. Okay, and I need some more of him. So let's go buy. Let me see what we got here. Eight dollars, eight dollars, eight dollars. So the cheapest one. Holy shit. The cheapest one is actually 69. Well, no, there, there's two, so it's 35 cents. So I'm going to buy this guy. So there's, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can buy ten. Okay. And I'm not worried about this timer because if you combine it with a larger amount, it erases the timer. So not a problem. So I'm going to buy. And I'm going to send it over to my Taro Cabot account. That's pretty much my strategy right now. It changes every day. I keep it like that because when you're DCAing, you just want to look for the best deals. Now, is buying a Rebellion Pack the best deal? It is if I get a Gold Legendary card, yeah. But most off, you know, mostly likely I'm not. But it, it, I just like for the chance. I like to open packs. But I'm prob you're always better off going and directly buying the cards you need in that, in that case. Okay? So now let's... Take them all, and we're going to send them. Actually, yeah, I'm going to send them all over, and I'll combine them over there. Okay, so Taro Cabot and send. And then we'll go open the Rebellion Pack and call it a day. But it is working much better than yesterday. It took me an hour to make a 10-minute video, and I recorded the whole thing. I didn't edit it. I should have. But time is a factor. So let's go over to... Open, and I've got the potions. I don't buy potions, but if I win them, I'll use them up. Okay, so now this is an average pack, so the potions did not help me get a uh, legendary, okay? If you get an epic, that's not the potion. The potion doesn't help you. And all the potion does is make it from 2% to 4%, if, if that's right. But any of these can still be a gold. So let's go. Let's get a gold. Or a gold legend. Oh, there's the gold. So the gold potion helped. And really, there's no proof of that because it could have rolled under 2%. But I'll take it. Now, come on, gold summoner. No. Okay. So there we go. So now what I'm going to do is go combine them. And I'm almost got enough potions for another pack. So go to my set and check this out. I did not know this. I learned it from the guilds channel. Somebody contacted me from it. Thank you very much. Okay, owned.
and I got a gold card. So let's go see if it's a new gold card or if it's one that's I got a new gold card today. Fantastic. Slowly but surely building this up. I got this two days ago. Okay, so let's go off the gold cards. So that means I got four regular maybe to combine unless I got a new regular card. So, But anyway, I didn't know you could combine them while they were in the... I was taking them off the wagon every day and somebody pointed out to me from the guild, he said, hey, just combine them. It automatically updates it in the, in the wagons, dumbass. Now, he, he didn't call me a dumbass, but that's how I felt because everybody else probably knew that except me. And that saves me some times and gets me some extra points. Okay, here's Miyaput the Magician. Now, I do have to go over there and hit autofill because I got new cards, which just because you get a new card does not mean it automatically puts it on the wagon. Now, even though they're on the wagon, you can still use them in battle and everything. You can't put them on land, though. I mean, you could, but then you couldn't use them. Okay, everything's combined. So let's go over to the conflicts, enter the conflict, go enter onto here. And let's go look at, I got 16. So I only got two spots left, I'm gonna have to get another wagon. And I'm at 9480. So let's autofill and see if that goes up. It did, 9730. And I am now filled up, and I might even need, I might have some that couldn't be put in, but there you go. That's, that's how it is. I'm up to 24 chances. I'll probably end up with 50 or 60, 75, far from the 250 needed. But it's a slowly but surely building up the Rebellion. Now, I said something, and I've been saying I'm afraid Rebellion packs will end up like Chaos Legion. And Bronze Dragon commented that uh, he, he pointed out the burn mechanism they have in place, which will, I think it's guaranteed to burn at least 5 million of them out of the 10 million. But you still, at the end of the day, you still might end up with a million or 2 million packs. Um, I, I don't see that being different. It, it might. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. But the, the burning mechanism and, and making one-third less right off the bat definitely helps. The thing about this team is they're constantly trying to you know change it, fix it. Uh, they're, they're not afraid to admit things are broken and fix it. And the other thing I hear is you can only cater to new people too much. How much catering do you want to do to somebody that's going to come into the game that has no desire but to drain the resources of the game and not put anything into it? So give, giving away free stuff has to have its limits. It's nice if it's balanced. It can work. But the people you need to take care of is the people putting money into the game. That's who you need to concentrate on. And that, that, that's my belief. Can you do both? Yes. But you can't. I hear it like, I look. People, if they're not winning, they don't like the system all of a sudden. So you could break it into 20,000 different leagues where everybody is in first place in their league. I love the new system. I, I don't care if I'm in 12,000th place because it makes the, the – for me, it makes the, uh, the strategy very simple. I max out my cards and get as high as I got. And – People get mad because they can't climb as high because they, well, you got to go get more cards then. And you can do that through buying them, yes, or you can do it through accumulating, S you're going to have to spend your SPS, you're going to have to spend your DC. But people don't want to spend it. They just want to take, take, take. So, yeah, the people who have put a lot of money into this game should be rewarded accordingly. They should be making more than I do because they put in more than I do. And that's, 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 you know, if, when you played Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon, the company 
took care of the people. I don't want to say it took care of, but it was designed for them to make money. If the team ain't making money, they're not going to do this. So that's selling packs. And I'm a big believer of the battle pass. Now, what if they took the battle pass, and when you bought the battle pass every month, you got two free packs of, uh, let's say, Rebellion. You're not giving it away for free. It's kind of forcing people to buy two packs of Rebellion every month at the very least. But it does put money. You know, whether they're giving the two packs, the important part is they get the $10. That's what's going to keep the thing going. Okay? It is, it, 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 they got to be able to keep the lights on type thing. But anyway, that's my little rant for the day. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you get a chance, go check out Pro Advertisers Club. Uh, join Splinterlands if you haven't. It's $10 to do so. The um, If you haven't joined a guild, please do so. Send me a request. I got three spots left. I got four, but one's been reserved for somebody who's going to try to get over as soon as they can. And thank you for your time. I know it's important. Have a nice day.